Hi flutes, in this video we'll go over the parts of the flute and how to assemble it. Now the first thing you should do is you should make sure that your case is right side up and on the floor. You know it's right side up by looking at some of the markings on the side if there's uh, things written on it. Also, most manufacturers put their manufacturer name on the lid so that you know that that's the top. Another clue is the latches. The latches often are designed so that they flip upwards, okay? So make sure it's flat on the floor and that you open it like this very carefully. Don't open it in the air like I am. Don't open it on your lap or on a table because then if it's upside down, all the pieces could go flying if you're not careful, okay? So now let's look at the, uh, the parts of the flute. I still have my head joint out here. One really important thing is that you know where the pieces go when you're done. Now every single piece goes into a specific slot and it's oriented a specific way. So there are probably indentions and things showing you where to put certain things on, um, on each joint, okay? So study them very carefully, like this really long piece right here has this key that sticks out and there's usually a place built into uh, the case for that to rest so that it doesn't get damaged when you shut the lid and even the head joint the head joint has the uh, mouthpiece plate on it and the area where it, it's stored usually has a little indention so that you can put it in there correctly so I've sort of already gone over uh, the, the parts of the instrument there are three main parts to the flute there's the head joint the foot joint and the middle joint, almost like um, the human body. And so the first two pieces that I usually put together are the head joint and the middle joint. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them very carefully out of the case. If there's a pad saver in the instrument, you're gonna wanna push it through the instrument and then pull it out, put it back in the case very carefully. Don't set it on the ground or in another dusty area where it could gather dust, debris, and lint because you're gonna end up putting that back in your instrument and you don't want to have any dust, debris, or lint on it. So this is the head joint. Um, the portion, or I'm sorry, this is the middle joint. The portion up here where the, the uh, head joint will be connected is right here. So take one hand, maybe it's uh, your right hand. Put your right hand and hold it right up there, very close to the end. With your other hand, take the head joint and hold it with your left hand very close to the end and we're going to put these two pieces together and we're going to use a gentle twisting action to uh, get them to go in. We're not going to shove them in straight um, and we're not going to we're not going to force anything. Now when um, you're done putting it in you want to rotate the uh, tone hole and the, the mouthpiece plate on the head joint so that they're in line with all of these keys right here. Okay? See if I can get that. So like a majority of the keys along here are sort of in a straight line. And we want to make sure that the tone hole on the head joint is right in line with it. So let's see if you can see that there. You see how my tone hole is right in line with all of these keys right here. Now there's a couple keys that are offset, but for the most part all of the keys uh, are in line just like that. And that's how you put the head joint and the middle joint together. Now notice there's a little bit of discoloration right here on my head joint. I don't put it all the way together. I leave it out a little bit. That makes it sound better, okay? Now, we're gonna take our left hand and we're gonna put it down here at the bottom of the middle joint because that's where we're gonna hold it when we put the foot joint on. So then we're gonna grab the foot joint. Now the foot joint has lots of empty space down here on the bottom. That's not the part that connects here. We wanna find the, uh, the opening where all the keys are close to the top here. That's gonna be the portion that we connect here. So we'll put our right hand <clears throat> there and our left hand right here. We're not gonna squeeze really hard because we don't wanna bend any keys, but we're definitely gonna hold them um, comfortably and firmly. We'll put these two pieces together and we're gonna use a gentle twisting motion to twist them on. Now, let's take a look at how the foot joint and the middle joint are connected here. Let's see if my camera will focus. Come on camera, focus right here. Okay. So the, um, the 
there's a rod on the foot joint right here that points to the center of this circle on the middle joint. That's how you know they're lined up correctly. If you have the rod on the foot joint lined up with the rod on the middle joint, that's not the correct way to do it. The rod on the foot joint should be in line with the key at the bottom of the middle joint, just like that, okay? And this is the flute fully assembled. Again, from top to bottom, we've got head joint, middle joint, foot joint. <clears throat> when we disassemble this and put it away, um, one of the things that I like to do if I have a pad saver is I'll put it in through the foot joint to grab any moisture that may have collected on that foot joint. And I'll push it up in there. And then with my right hand on the foot joint, and my left hand on the top there, I'll use a gentle twisting action to pull the foot joint off. And then I'm gonna put the foot joint back in the case in the correct spot, oriented the correct way so that the keys are resting the way that they're supposed to. Now, my pad saver here, I'm gonna push even further up in there. <clears throat> so my pad saver is now in the middle joint where it's gonna be stored in the case. I'm gonna take my left hand up here in my head joint, my right hand up here in my middle joint. I'll use a gentle twisting action to pull them apart. And I'll put my middle joint back in the case in the correct spot, oriented the way it's supposed to, okay? So that everything is resting correctly. I'll take the head joint and put it where it goes so that it's oriented correctly in the case. And then I'll carefully close the lid if it doesn't close all the way, then one of the pieces is probably not in there correctly. So you open up the case and you look around and you figure out what's going on. And really in this case, um, this, some of this fabric is what's getting in the way, okay? So Okay. Yours will go together better than this one is because this case isn't designed for this flute. So don't, don't take this as an indication that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and close your latches and then you've got your uh, flute put away.